You know what they say, when life gives you freezing temperatures, make art. The Snow Art Festival in northeastern Italy brought together artistes of ice. They used trowels, saws, chisels, and even barbed wire to sculpt their frozen masterpieces. There were elephants, locomotives, cartoon characters, birds of prey, and things that defied description. First prize went to a group of Mongolian artists for their abstract piece, Family. The works created at the Snow Art Festival will be on display in the main street of Ponteba, Italy, until they melt. A different kind of ice art was music to the ears at the Ice Music Festival, also in northern Italy. All 16 of the instruments used in the fest were crafted from ice. They include bongos, guitars, and violins. Ice instruments can produce interesting sounds, but they present challenges as well. Stringing and tuning an ice violin are no easy feats. Unlike their wooden counterparts, they can disintegrate. And playing them isn't easy either, because, well, the musicians get cold. The concert hall at the festival was naturally an igloo, one big enough to hold 200 seats. Over 60 chill concerts will be played there this season, but no sign of this guy. And across the Atlantic, in Wisconsin, USA, ice castles have opened for the winter season. This frozen fortress on Lake Geneva is made from 25,000 pounds of ice. It looks a little like Superman's Fortress of Solitude, but without the supervillains. Take my hand and swear eternal loyalty to Zod. This seasonal attraction, well... It's a concept that takes a theme park mixed with a glacier slash art project and allows you to interact with it. We have slides, tunnels, mazes. That was super fun. <laughs> the castle should stay open, that is frozen, until March. And this lake in Canada was put to fun frosty use when a man started shoveling snow paths to create a snow maze. It took Sean Frey about 40 hours to carve out the maze. Way more fun, by the way, than this one from The Shining. And fortunately, skaters at least have an eye line to the maze's exit. But if there's no escaping the cold, at least these frosty masterpieces are testaments to human ingenuity and the creative spirit which shows up whatever the weather. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Lisa Wojtyki.